Kim. I'm a high school math teacher. In our freshman math one class, we were able to have our students do a project on infection control in statistics. The purpose of the project was not only for students to be able to do uh, understand infection control, but also be able to uh, create visuals to explain these. So what we had students do was we had students collect data on how people wash their hands, how people open doors in the restroom, how long they wash their hands for, and how people cough or sneeze. And after that, they had to present their data in uh, using a circle graph, histogram, box and whisker plot, and stem and leaf plot. So after they did this, um, they could not only relate the data back into uh, visuals, they could also be able to explain it. Um, afterwards, they also had to do a reflection, um, explain the data points. So sometimes students will know if something's dirty or clean, but they can't really explain why. With these representations, they could point to specific data points and be able to say, hey, this is why people are not clean, or hey, this is how people get infected because they haven't uh, stopped the chain of infection. Um, so with that, if students are able to uh, explain content, write about it, and maybe even be able to create visuals on it, then um, they have a higher level of understanding of the content because of the multiple representations.